Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh to Surface for SOLIDWORKS. Let's bring in our mesh into SOLIDWORKS. In this case I know it's saved in inches and I'll just select how it's been stored. The software automatically will convert it in two millimeters. I'll just get a mesh info and you see it's about 100 millimeters which is correct. So we know we can start working on this object but in some cases you may get noise. The noise is uh, an artifact which can be caused because of re reflectivity of the real physical object. It also can be caused by the noise that is caused uh, of the scanner. So you can normally do this into the software of the scanner but we also have this functionality in our add-in. And the way it works, you just click the reduce noise command and then you have the options here. The first option is how many times you want to apply this uh, noise reduction. And when you decide, you can just press preview. In this case, it's only once and you see that the noise has been removed and you can see a preview of your result. There is an option here which is called apply on boundary edges in some cases people may want not to touch the, the boundaries, which in this case are holes, but if you have an open object, this might be important for you. But using this option, you can just um, apply and you see that the um, object is, gets smooth. And because we are always about the control and the quality of the reverse engineering, it's quite important now to know how much we change the shape so is it still, do we preserve the original um, information? So that's why we have this analysis option here where the user can click and see what is the deviation of the original mesh against the um, new um, mesh that it's uh, with the reduced noise. As you can see here, by default it's 10 microns. You can see that the software did a good job in this case because it preserved the shape of the main areas, but it's actually removed the noise here that um, we wanted to um, remove the noise from. Again, you can just uh, increase the, the number of iterations. This is just for preview how aggressive this is. And then you see that the deviation is uh, still okay here because this is how the mesh has been distributed. At the end, you can just press OK and the software will give you a warning that this will be uh, replaced, the original mesh. So it's up to you whether to accept this or also there is an option here that you can create this as a separate feature in the SOLIDWORKS tree. So you can have both meshes, the one which is with the noise reduction and the other one, the original mesh. And the last thing I want to show you that the function actually can work also just on uh, specific areas. I will just use mesh selection and we'll get my uh, lasso selection here just to grab this area. Double click and I have my selected triangles. I press OK now and I will go to the reduce noise function. As you see now, my checkbox is enabled, so if I just apply aggressively my smoothing, you will see that only the area that has been selected um, is um, smoothed. So you can see this by applying the deviation analyzer. You see that everything else is green, but only this area has been affected. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.